Listen, I lied to you. I lied to all of you. I think I've made 600 YouTube videos about not drinking alcohol, and I lied to you about quitting alcohol. And it's time that I came clean. So if you watch this video, I'm hoping that my honesty is actually gonna help you on your journey to not only not drink alcohol, but I wanna show you how by not drinking alcohol, you're gonna be able to level up your health, your relationships, literally every area of your life is gonna improve. But in order to understand this, I have to be 100% transparent with you all. So to, before we get into this, this, this lie, let's first think about the typical routine of an alcohol drinker. You know, a typical routine that I used to go through was, you know, I remember there was one point in my life where I worked in recruitment. So I had this job in London where, you know, it was like a sales job, working in an office with a commute and all that stuff. So after I finished university, I went to go and try this, uh, this career. And I remember, I didn't like it. I didn't like the commute. I didn't like the clothes that I had to wear. I didn't really like the people that I worked with. Um, oh, one second. I'm actually in Tokyo right now, so it's a little bit hard to walk around, but I'll do my best. But, uh, you know, I had this, this job that I didn't really like. So by the end of the day, I was drained, right? I was absolutely exhausted. And I had these like negative emotions that came up, lack of energy, just didn't feel good. So what did I do? Well, every time I felt these negative emotions, I'd end up drinking alcohol because all I wanted to do was find a moment of relief, like a, a, literally a few seconds of escape where I just felt okay, I just didn't feel bad. And think about it, right? Think about the typical life of somebody that drinks alcohol. They're always looking for that escape, looking for that relief, looking for that few minutes where they just feel okay. Now, the problem with this is that you can start creating this identity of somebody that's not okay with discomfort. You, you know, feel anything, you feel bad, you feel unhappy, so you drink. So then, you know, if you think about your life, the life that you want lies outside of your comfort zone. Every big step that you take always takes courage, it's always scary. But then, you know, when you keep telling yourself that when I feel this bad emotion, I have to take a drug to get rid of the emotion, what do you think happens? Well, it's a nightmare. And when somebody does this for years, this cycle of escapism, then uh, it's just a nasty place to be. And this will make sense. We will come back to this in a minute. And I will explain this lie that I've been telling everybody uh, in a moment. Where are we going now? Whoa, look at this, it's, it's crazy. We're in Tokyo and uh, I don't know what's going on, but looks interesting. So, so that's, that's the first thing, right? That's the, that's the typical cycle of a drinker is this routine of escapism. Now going back to the lie. So the lie is this. If you watch channels like mine, if you watch, I don't know, maybe an Andrew Huberman video, you watch any video that's talking about not drinking alcohol, they're all gonna to talk to you about the benefits, right? They're all gonna say that you're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel happier, you're gonna have more energy. And I'm, I'm not saying that those things aren't true. They're 100% true. Now, if you think about when somebody makes a video talking about the benefits of not drinking, it's usually gonna be in a place where, you know, they might be, I don't know, a few months sober, right? 30 days sober, 90 days sober, they talk about the benefits and then they decide whether or not to continue with this on their life or sorry, continue with like, you know, a sober journey, whatever you want to call it. So the problem is, is that these individuals have this severe point of contrast where, you know, they're drinking, they're in a bad place, they don't have good energy, they feel unhealthy, they're unfit, they may be a little bit fat. So they remove this poison from their life. So what do you think they experience? Well, only good things happen, right? They experience a whole host of benefits because the problem is, is that, you know, they've had this life where their baseline of happiness has been down here because they've been drinking a poison. So as soon as they remove the poison, everything just gets better. Of course it's gonna get better. Here's where it gets dark and the lie will make sense. But after two, three months is everything kind of starts to flatline. Everything starts to normalize. You, you lose that point of contrast. You forget what things used to be like before you started drinking. So it just feels normal. You just feel how you did before you, uh, you, you ever drank. So. This is, this is what I'm talking about, right? This lie is that quitting alcohol has a few benefits, right? I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm not trying to dissuade you from doing this, but once you stop drinking, look at this, all sorts of stuff going on. But once you stop drinking, you will get to a place where it just feels normal. And I'm gonna make videos talking about the benefits, talking about good things. But listen, none of it actually matters because when somebody has spent decades of their life in this cycle of escapism, and then they stop drinking for 30, 60, 90 days. Of course, they're gonna feel great. But then after 90 days, around that mark, everything just starts to flatline. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the lie. We get told that, you know, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be great. And then we get to this place where you might be 90 days in 
And you're like, well, is that it? Like, is that all it was, is that all it was supposed to be? Here's the thing. When you're trying to stop drinking, it can't just be about not drinking. Because I promise you, if you make stopping drinking your only achievement, the only thing that you want to do with your life, in 90 days time, in, a, in six months time, you'll just get to a place where it's like, meh. Like, what was the point? I mean, but this is the whole, this is, this is the angle. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. You need to stop the cycle of escapism and you need to start building a life that you don't want to escape from. That is the secret to not drinking, is building a life that you don't want to escape from. And right now, you know, we're, we're in Tokyo right now, and this was the life that I wanted to create. You know, I wanted to create an online business. I wanted to get to a place where I could be location independent. I could walk in the middle of Tokyo and, and, and make a YouTube video. This was the life that I wanted to build, and this is the life that I built. And I don't want to escape from this life. It's so different to how it was five and a half years ago, where, you know, I'd work with a bunch of people that I didn't really like, I get to the end of the day, I just feel like I've had enough of this. I drink just to relieve those negative feelings. And because I've not drank now for five and a half years, you know, I've never made a video in public like this, right? It's uncomfortable, it doesn't feel good. People are looking at me thinking like, what's this weird guy doing? I don't care because, and here's the great thing, is because I'm used to feeling discomfort and not resorting to a drug, not resorting to a drink. I'm used to feeling uncomfortable. And that is the beautiful thing that happens in your life when you remove alcohol, if you're able to keep pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Because not drinking on its own does nothing. I promise you, after a few months of not drinking, it will normalize, it will feel normal, it won't feel like a great achievement. You'll just feel, you know, kind of flat. However, if you can make a vision, if you can create a vision, if you can create a vision for your life, how you want it to look two, three, four, five years down the line, and you can have something that you're excited for, something that you want to work towards, I mean, it's game over. Because if you can build a life that you don't want to escape from, the thought of drinking alcohol doesn't enter your mind. Because you're not trying to escape anything anymore, because you're in a place where you're happy, you know, you're content, you feel, you feel fulfilled. And that's where I want you to get. So I've, I've lied to you about the benefits of not drinking. But I've told you that there are benefits of not drinking, but listen, they all, they all will go away. And I'm not trying to discourage you. I promise you, the benefits will go away. You'll find this new baseline, this new normal state of being, and it's down to you to focus on building a life that you don't want to escape from. I promise you, if you can put all your energy into that and no energy into not drinking alcohol, it's game over. You know, you will solve this problem. And I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm pumped to be in Tokyo. I'm pumped to be in Japan. I'm pumped to not be drinking for five and a half years because literally, I'm not even joking, five and a half years ago, I was at ground zero. I had nobody. I was staying at my best friend's, well, I was staying at one of my friend's place because, uh, you know, I'd run out of cash. He let me live in his room while he went, he was away in America. And man, what a, what a, what a crazy contrast. What a crazy contrast. Anyway, keep it going. Love you all. Have a great day.